Hey, so I've made a couple of changes off camera. Um, I've uh, added uh, color to the tail joint, uh, to the tail controls here, and uh, the same to the eyes. So the eye control is this sort of pink, and I've uh, made color difference, color differentiation between the left and the right eye control. Um, so next up I'm going to apply a uh, weighting pass to uh, to the meshes so we can see how they deform once we apply constraints to the joints. So to start off with I'm going to select the main body mesh and going to select the body bind joint and I'm going to go up to uh, go to the rigging uh, drop down menu and go to skin and bind skin and for this one I'm going to select joint hierarchy and uh, no sorry selected joints closest distance classic linear interactive um, allow my multiple bind poses checked um, going to uh, uncheck remove unused influences um, and everything else looks all right so going to apply that and going to uh, select uh, next up I'm going to do the tail so I'm going to select the tail joints here by uh, shift selecting them in the outliner um, and then selecting the mesh and hitting apply like that and then the same for, well the same for the eyes uh, select the eye geometry and then go to the right eye bind joint and hit apply Do the same for the left select the left eye mesh and apply and then last of all the eyelids so hit, select the joint select the mesh and hit apply and then the right joint and the right eye and apply <laughs> uh, oh I've selected the wrong mesh I need the right eyelid and apply that that's brilliant okay cool hey so now I'm going to start applying constraints to uh, some of the joints so we can see the mesh deform with the controls um, now a very simple way of doing this would be to select uh, a control um, then shift select uh, a joint and go up to constraint and choose one of these so let's say parent for the main control like this you can see our eyes are still constrained to the eye controls here um, and then for something like the tail joint um, we could select the control, select the joint, and click Constrain, Orient. Uh, make sure Maintain Offset is checked on. Hit Apply, and do the next in the sequence, followed by the next, and the last one here, Apply. Um, and then if we give this a quick test, we can see that I need to turn Discrete Rotate off we can see that the uh, uh, joints are constrained with rotations but not excuse me, I've got the joints still selected uh, but not with uh, translation and the reason it's doing this is because the uh, um, controls are in a hierarchy so I'm going to select these joints here and select translations and go to lock and hide selected 
as well as the scale, we don't need those. Lock and hide selected in the channel control. So now all we've got are the rotations, like that. Um, and then next up, we're going to um, select the um, tail pivot control and select the tail pivot join, which is a little hard to select there. So I'm going to find it here. And once again, I could apply uh, another orient constraint like that, um, which would do the job perfectly well. Um, but um, as this is a rigging tutorial, it's probably a good idea to um, show different methods of um, linking controls with joints. So uh, I'm just going to select the tail pivot joint here, find the orient constraint that I just applied, hit delete. Um, and I'm going to select the control uh, and then select the pivot joint again and go to Windows Node Editor and then I'm going to go up to here and add those into the tab. Um, and what have we got? We've got the uh, joint node here, the control there, and I've got all these shapes here which I don't need. So I'm going to go up to display and click no shapes. Okay, so next up I'm going to expand these and expand the tail pivot joint and I'm going to make a direct connection between rotation of the control and rotation of the joint. Um, and if I minimize that, you can see now that the control now controls the joint with a direct connection and there's no intermittent constraint making the con making the connection uh, between the two. So with that said I'm going to go back to the uh, body control and I'm going to select the body uh, parent constraint that um, I added and I'm going to delete that and I'm going to select the body bind joint and the body control um, and open up the node editor and add these two in. Um, they're down here um, and these two are all I want to focus on at the moment so I'm going to select these two they're done and I'm going to go up to here and take them out of the node editor and I'm going to expand these nodes so we can see their channels um, and once again make direct connections between the two channels um, now there's a problem here in that while I reset the transforms of the body control um, the joint control occu occupies a, a particular position in world space so I can't get away from the fact that the joint, uh, the body bind joint is in the middle of the sphere at plus 10 in translate Y and it's only ever going to be there. It can't be uh, a different value. So unless I, unless I give it a parent, um, but that is the top node in the scene. So um, what I need to do is apply some sort of offset in translate Y. So I'm just gonna select translate X and Z and link those two. Um, and then I'm going to select uh, create node 
um, and choose plus minus average and uh, have this one visually between the two of them and I'm going to add translate y into input 1d and then I'm going to add um, am I making a mistake here? Uh, no, 1d1 um, and then I'm going to put output 1d into translate y if I close this down you'll see that the zero translation in the control here has um, uh, has moved the joint down into translate Y. So with that said, I'm going to um, find the um, the next um, channel, uh, which I think this must be a Maya bug because I can see input 1D 0 and if you look here there is definitely another channel here so what I'm going to do is go to translate Y and I'm just going to pop that one connect that one into there just to see if that yeah so that brings this channel into life so I'm going to once once Myers realized that it's uh, that channel exists and it's refreshed the UI I'm going to hold control shift and then left drag to cut that connection and hopefully that channel will still be there if I select the joint uh, and then in the attribute editor go along to the plus minus average tab and if I add 10 to here that snaps our joint back up to 10 so now hopefully the yeah the body um, control um, now controls that joint in exactly the same way um, a constraint would. Cool so next up uh, there's uh, there's a bit of a there's a bit of an issue because uh, some of the joints are constrained to um, the controls and the controls aren't in a hierarchy. Now uh, I could do the same thing I could make direct connections between the controls um, but for the sake of speed and for the, for the sake of th this is fairly sort of novice stuff I'm going to uh, put the um, controls in a hierarchy uh, um, just so that we don't have any unexpected behaviour um, so I'm going to select the tail pivot buffer and that's going to um, be underneath the bouncing ball control so I'm, with, that, with that selected I'm going to parent that um, and with the uh, no that's sorry uh, I'm going to select the tail pivot buffer and select the uh, body control and the body control is going to be now the parent of the tail pivot. Um, next up I'm going to select the tail buffer and that's going to be underneath the tail pivot control like that. So now the tail pivot should drive the tail like that which is what we want um, and I need to fix that and we'll do shortly and then the eye control buffer is going to be underneath the uh, body control so 
that is there and that belongs there so now hopefully the whole thing should move around um, the way we want it to and we've still got the uh, yeah and we've still got functionality um, so as far as the um, tail pivot control goes I'm just going to select that and select the joints uh, yeah so I did a direct connection it wasn't a constraint uh, so with those uh, selected I'm going to bring them into here and I'm going to select these three and just move them out and very quickly I'm going to select translate connect those two so now I could yeah move this around um, I think I must have snap uh, turned on which is why Oh no, it seems to have stopped snapping. I don't know. Um, weird stuff happens. So, okay, that's the uh, controls and constraints set up. Um, and next up, I'm going to create a couple of um, uh, a couple of uh, custom attributes to um, control the blinks and the squash and stretch. Cool.